to the mountains, sing to the seas. Raise your voices, lift your hearts. This is the day the Lord has made. Let all the earth rejoice. I will give thanks to you, my Lord. You have answered my plea. You have saved my soul from death. You are my strength and my soul. Sing to the mountains, sing to the seas. Raise your voices, lift your hearts. This is the day the Lord has made. Let all the earth rejoice. I will give thanks to you, my Lord. You have answered my plea. You have saved my soul from death. You are my strength and my soul. Sing to the mountains, sing to the sea. Raise your voices, lift your hearts. This is the day the Lord has made. Let all the earth rejoice. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. In humility, let us say yes to the Lord and the Lord will exalt us. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today we celebrate the solemnity of the Annunciation of the Lord, the good news of the birth of the Saviour and Mary in all her humility and readiness has accepted, has consented to the will of God by saying, I am the handmaid of the Lord, let it be done to me according to your word. And the moment of the incarnation just begun. And every one of us is called to carry Christ with us and within us. We have to be giving to the world the Christ. Before we give the Christ to the world, we have to have him. In order to have him, we have to listen to the word of God and give consent to do his will. As we begin this Holy Mass, let us examine ourselves. How much am I ready in my faith to say yes to the will of God? How much I render my body, mind and soul for the glory of the Lord in my life? And how much I am available for the will of God so that God's will is done on earth? If we have failed in these aspects, let us feel sorry for the moments and ask God's pardon and forgiveness. I confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask blessed to Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life.
In the womb of the Virgin Mary, grant, we pray, that we who confess our Redeemer to be God and man may merit to become partakers even in his divine nature, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. First reading, a reading from the book of Isaiah, chapter 7 verses 10 to 14. The Lord spoke to Ahaz, Ask a sign of the Lord your God. Let it be deep as shoal or high as heaven. But Ahaz said, I will not ask and I will not put the Lord to test. And he said, Hear then, O house of David, is it too little for you to weary men, that you weary my God also? Therefore, the Lord himself will give you a sign. Behold, a young woman shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel, that is, God is with us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial psalm. Here am I, O Lord, to do your will. Here am I, O Lord, to do your will. You do not ask for sacrifice and offerings, but an open ear. You do not ask for holocaust and victim, because here am I. Our response, Here, here am, am I, I, O Lord, Lord to do, do your, your will. will. In the scroll of the book it stands written, that I should do your will. My God, I delight in law, in your law, in the depth of my heart. Our response, Here, Here am, am I, I, O Lord, Lord to, to do, do your, your will. will. Your justice I have proclaimed in the great assembly. My lips I have not sealed. 
You know it, O Lord. Our response: Here, Here am I, I O Lord, Lord, to do to Your will. will. I have not hidden Your justice in my heart, but declared Your faithful help. I have not hidden Your love and Your truth from the great assembly. Our response: Here, Here am I, I O Lord, Lord to, to do, do Your, your will. will. Lo, I have come to do thy will, O God, as it is written of me in the roll of the book. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews, chapter 10, verse 4 to 10. It is impossible that the blood of bulls and goats should take away sins. Consequently, when Christ came into the world, he said, Sacrifices and offerings thou hast not desired, but a body as thou prepared for me. In burnt offerings and sin offerings, thou hast taken no pleasure. Then I said, Lo, I have come to do thy will, O God, as it is written of me in the roll of the book. When he said above, Thou hast neither desired nor taken pleasure in sacrifice and offerings and burnt offerings and sin offerings. These are offered according to the law. Then he added, Lo, I have come to do thy will. He abolished the first in order to establish the second, and by that we will have been sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Kindly rise for the gospel acclamation. This temple, God's praises we sing. O oh, teach us, dear mother, to praise God our King. Away, 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 Maria. Away, 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 Maria. The Word became flesh and dwelt among us and we have the elders glory stand in this temple god's praises we sing oh teach us dear mother to praise god our king Ave, Ave, Ave maria The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Gospel of Saint Luke, chapter 1, verses from 26 to 38. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at the saying, and consider in her mind what sort of greeting this might be? And the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give to him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. And Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no husband? And the angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, 
and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, your kinswoman Elizabeth, in her old age, has also conceived a son. And this is the sixth month with her who was called barren. For with God nothing will be impossible. And Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. Let it be to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to our Lord Jesus Christ. In humility, let us consent to the will of God and God will exalt us. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today we celebrate one of the great feasts of our Christian faith, the Annunciation of the Lord and Mary becoming the mediator between the divine intervention and the human response. If something beautiful has to be taken place on earth, it has to be the divine initiation. God wills that the human race should be saved. And the God who can do everything by himself still wants the human cooperation. He wants the human response. And here we see when God sends his angel Gabriel to Mary and gives the good news of the birth of the Savior, Mary consented. Mary said, I am the handmaid of the Lord. Let it be done to me according to your word. And that very moment, the conception of Jesus has taken place. That very moment, God started entering into the world. God started to enter into the human nature. God started to enter into the human pain. God started to enter into the human love for the human salvation. And that is the first moment of our salvation when Mary responded to God's will as I am the handmaid of the Lord. And we have to consider the scene of this annunciation. It is the divine initiation. It is God who sends his angel to the human person. It is not human person who has desired. Here we see how God initiates his action. He knows man cannot do anything. He is in the fallen state. He is in the state of sin and death. Therefore, man is incapable of doing the will of God. And therefore, God already prepares somebody. The one who promises the second Eve, we already see in the first book of the Bible, Genesis 3.15, how God promises, because of you the sin has entered, because of you the disobedience, the death has entered into the world. I will choose another woman by whom and by whose obedience there will be the salvation of the humanity. And that is realized in the aspect of Annunciation, the feast we celebrate today. And here we see two important elements, the humility of Mary and the exaltation of Mary. How Mary gives herself to the will of God. It is not so simple thing. It is very difficult, especially for a, a girl like Mary. We see how the angel comes and says, greets. And here we see two important uh, responses of Mary. First of all, at the greeting, Hail Mary, full of grace, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Mary is troubled. The gospel says, Mary is troubled. Troubled because 
This greeting is new. This greeting is something extraordinary. She never thought she is full of grace. She knows she is merely a mere person, mere human being. And she always sought for the will of God. She never lived for herself. She was praying like any Jew for the coming of the kingdom. Therefore, like the people of Israel, she was also expecting the messianic kingdom. And she was also praying for it. But when the God's messenger comes and says, you are the person with full of grace, she was troubled. Which she, was, she did not expect at all from the angel of God. And secondly, when the angel says, you will conceive and bear a son, you have to name him Jesus. Once again, she was troubled. She needs some clarification. She says, how can this be? Because many of the fathers of the church in the early Christianity considered the scene of the Annunciation as Mary's personal commitment to the celibacy, the virginity. She has surrendered herself to the divine uh, will and she has committed herself, her virginity to the Lord. Therefore, she knows that she is a virgin. But the angel says, through you, the son will come out, the son of God. And she was troubled. How can this happen? She was not troubled because she did not understand the message of the angel. But she knows her condition. Her condition of being a virgin. Her condition of committing herself to the Lord. And at this state, how can she conceive a son that is that was her trouble and immediately the angel answers and clarifies it is not the work of the humanity it is not the work of the human person the holy spirit will come down he will overshadow you and with the power of the holy spirit you are going to conceive therefore the son who is going to be born through you is holy and will be called a son of god here we see, my dear friends in Christ, the humility of Mary. Mary never wanted her self-glory. She always wanted the glory of God. Mary never wanted her will to be done. But she always prayed that God's will be done. And that is the humility of Mary. And Jesus says, the humble will be exalted. And we see how this takes place in the life of Mary. The moment she has consented to the will of God, she is exalted. She becomes mother of God. The greatest of all the titles that Mary uh, possesses. The first and the greatest, mother of God. And all other titles like virgin, ever virgin, or Assumption, Mary, Queen of Heaven, all these titles are only the consequences of the first title, Mother of God. God has chosen her to be his own mother. Such a grace, such a blessing, such a wonderful favor the Lord has blessed her with because of her consent. Let us imagine, if Mary did not consent to the will of God, what would have been? to the plan of salvation. We don't know. God must have done some other way. But this is how God has prepared Mary. God has prepared, planned, prepared and given Mary the opportunity, the choice. And Mary out of free will, she is not obliged. Even there she can say, no, no, I am a small child, I don't understand all these things. Uh, no, leave me alone. I don't want to be part of this plan. I don't know. Leave me alone, please. She would have simply escaped. But knowing that it is God's will, knowing that she has to undergo so much of pain, agony and suffering because of this, still 
she has said, I am the handmaid, uh, handmaid of the Lord. Let it be done to me according to your word. And that is the power of Mary. Mary who was always ready for the will of God. When the time has come, given her consent. And today, my dear friends in Christ, we celebrate the moment of Christ's entry into the world. The moment of his entry into the womb of Mary. And Mary was ready to offer her heart and womb for the Lord. And what about us today? We have to offer our heart to the Lord. The Lord wants to come through us, come to us. And what is our response? Amidst all the doubts, amidst all the philosophies, amidst all the attractions and passions of the world, do we really have some time for the Lord? Do we really have some space for the birth of the Savior? God wants to be born in you and in me. Do we really ready? Are we really ready for this? In the Middle Ages, there was a golden legend in which there is a small story. One rich and noble knight, he wanted to leave everything, renounce all his riches and become a monk. He goes and joins a cloister house where everything is closed, no connection with the world. And there, because he is a noble man, the monks have given him a lot of importance and said, okay, for you we will give another tutor. You do not sit with uh, uh, normal brothers, but you, you will have a special privilege. Therefore, he has given a different teaching. But all through his life, he was able to learn only one word, Ave Maria. However, uh, trial he has made, he was not able to learn anything more than Ave Maria. And that word Ave Maria, he liked so much that whenever and wherever he is and whatever he does, he always pronounces this word, Ave Maria. And the time has come, the man died. He was buried in the same courtyard, graveyard of brothers. And brothers who go there every day into the graveyard to pray for the souls, one day they have noticed on the tomb there is a small plant of lily. And they wondered how it has come. And they have noticed in one of the petals there is written Ave Maria. They still they are surprised to see the same words that the man was reciting when he was alive. Ave Maria. Then they wanted to find out from where this plant comes. They have dug the tomb and found th that the root of the plant was in the mouth of the dead man. That is the power of devotion to Mary. Such a devotee of Mary that because of the prayers, this the miracle happens. Therefore, let us come to Mary and through Mary to Jesus. And today we are asked to offer our womb for the birth of the Savior. To give our heart for the birth of the Savior. Are we ready? Therefore, my dear friends in Christ, as we celebrate the feast, God who wants to do his will through us and he wants our cooperation. Are we ready to give a positive response to the God's will? Are we ready to offer all our life so that the will of God is done through us in this world? And do we come to Mary and become like Mary in bringing the Savior into the world and showing the Savior to the world? Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us stand up and profess our faith. I believe, I believe in, God, in God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, Creator of, of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. 
He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From then he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. God our Father, we thank you for giving your Son as our Savior, born of the Virgin Mary. As we celebrate the Annunciation of the Lord, the great feast of our salvation, help us to know the meaning of the feast and help us to give our consent to your will. And as we offer to you our prayers and needs, grant them in due time. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our loving Father, through the church, you are giving to the world your son Jesus. Bless the church. Bless our Pope, the bishops, priests, religious, and the entire Christian kingdom. We are the bearers of your son Jesus. We are the carriers of his good news. Help us to be true testimonies of your gospel. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our loving Father, we place into our hands the present condition of the world. The world which is affected by fight and persecutions. The world which is affected by the corona pandemic. Show your mercy to us, Lord. Bless all the people affected by this coronavirus and suffering. Bless all of us and give us the confidence and courage that you will give us the remedy. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. God our Father, in a special way, we offer to you our Divyavana TV channel, the channel of good news to the world. Bless it and bless everyone who is contributing to its growth directly or indirectly. Bless all the efforts that are undertaken so that it effectively diffuses your word throughout the world. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our loving Father, we offer you all our families. Bless all our families with peace, with joy, with unity. Especially, we offer to you all the virgins. Grant them your discernment so that they choose their future. We also offer to you all the people who are sick in our families. Show them, show them your mercy and grant them good health. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. In the silence of our hearts, let us pray for our needs. God, our loving Father, we are here at your altar. Along with Mary, our mother, we want to offer ourselves to you so that your son is given to the world through our words and through our works. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
is renewing once offered on the roof with these although unworthy some offering we would make but all we Thou gavest in Our hearts, our souls, our senses We give through Mary's hands Who by the cross once standing Now by the altar Pray, dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice from your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good for all this holy church. Be pleased, Almighty God, to accept your church's offerings, so that she who is aware that her beginnings lie in the incarnation of your only begotten Son, May rejoice to celebrate his mysteries on this solemnity who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For the Virgin Mary heard with faith that the Christ was to be born among men and for men's sake, by the overshadowing power of the Holy Spirit. Lovingly she bore him in her immaculate womb that the promises to the children of Israel might come about and the hope of nations be accomplished beyond all telling. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with this in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God, God of, hosts, of hosts, heaven and earth, earth are full of your glory. Of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and he entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this 
in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Paul Antony, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by the divine teaching, we all dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign, forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace, peace. 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 Lamb of God, Lamb of God you, you take, take away the sins, sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter, enter under, under my roof, roof but only say the word, word and, and my soul, soul shall be healed. Be healed. Prayer of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come into my heart spiritually. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself to you wholly. Never permit me to be separated from you.
Amen. All hail to you, holy lady bless to you our lowly praises are addressed, most holy queen and mother of the king, O Virgin Mary, now to you we sing. Chosen one, O oh consecrated one, by Father and the Spirit and the Son, on you has come in fullness every grace of every good. of the Lord, the tent in which His glory is adored, the robe with which He men said He is dead, His handmade mother chosen and Let us pray. Confirm in our minds the mysteries of the true faith, we pray, O Lord, so that confessing that he who was conceived of the Virgin Mary is true God and true man, we may, through the saving power of his resurrection, merit to attain the eternal joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer to St. Joseph, Hail, Guardian of the Redeemer, Spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to you God entrusted His only Son. In you Mary placed her trust. With you Christ became man. Blessed Joseph, to us too show yourself a father and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us from every evil. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go and live in the love of Christ. Thanks be to God. No man can live as an island, journey through life alone. Since we are most loved by a mother, Jesus gave us his own. Be with us, Mary, alone. Us to Jesus, your loving Son, come with us, Mary. Come when Jesus met with rejection, Mary stood by the cross. How can a mother desert a son? She also stands by. Be with us, Mary, along the way, guide every step we take. Lead us
us to Jesus, your loving Son. Come with us, Mary, come. Come with us, Mary, come with us, 